Well, KTSM 9 News is your local elections headquarters. In Canutillo, voters took to the polls to decide whether or not to approve money for the school district. They are proposing a $387 million bond to address, address growth in the area and continued decrease in enrollment. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltasar joins us live in the newsroom, breaking down the latest election numbers. Jesus. Unofficial election results indicate that both Proposition A and B from the Canatillo School District's proposed bond are in the lead, with the latest numbers coming in at 8.30 p.m. this evening at 56 and 55 percent votes in favor, respectively. Proposition A has been the most discussed part of the bond, as it would use $379 million of the funds to rebuild and relocate multiple older schools to the rapidly growing areas in Enchanted Hills and the Upper Valley. Part of that proposition would also involve investments in district-wide repairs of their worn-down facilities. Proposition B would issue over $7 million in funds to repay a debt that the district incurred during the COVID pandemic to equip students with laptops. You call this a catalyst bond is uh, it's an understatement. We know that this will determine the future of the school district, uh, how we address our needs for the for the future, and how uh, the community sees kind of deal growing. You know, we are at a juncture where we can't uh, afford to maintain our schools to, with with the funding that we have. Reveles explained that the state's current system is set up for them to have to seek these election bonds in order to address these issues. And while they believe that this system is unfair, he said that's what they're playing with. If approved, the bond would cost the average Canutillo homeowner over $3 per month in increased property taxes. And if it fails, district officials say they'll likely have to close and consolidate schools as well as eliminate school and extracurricular programs. Still unofficial, district officials said that they're encouraged by the early results and that they could finally have the funds to match the great performance from students and teachers alike in the classrooms. From the newsroom, Jesus Baltasar, KTSM 9 News. Thank you, Jesus. And for more information on the election results, you can visit our website at ktsm.com. Well,